Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and today I am very, very excited because I'm going for overall victory number 1065. I'm kind of sad because it is my last food challenge in the state of Wisconsin for quite a while because Katina and I are about to start traveling all over the place, but I'm just letting you know up front, today's gonna be a bit immature and childish because of all the names and the title of this challenge and just everything going on. So earmuffs to anybody under 13, but it's actually my first time doing a challenge in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We've got so many people here, the place is packed, which is much appreciated. But I am here at Pete's Garage Bar. I've known about this burger challenge for a very long time. Pete's Garage Bar has been in the Oshkosh area serving them for over 16 years now. This challenge has been around for 12 of them. Hundreds of people have tried. There's been about 15 winners, but I'm about to take on the Peter Beater Burger Challenge. So I've got one hour to just beat the meat and finish everything here. But we have four of their third pound beef burgers. There is a whole bunch of healthy grilled mushrooms and onions. There are eight slices of pork bacon. There's eight slices of American cheese. There's two slices each on each of the burgers and then the bacon's all throughout. But we've got two slabs of juicy prime rib here in between all these burgers. Burgers. There's just a lot of meat here. There are of course two burger buns and then we've got a whole family size basket of their fries. And if I win today, I'm gonna win this beautiful shirt saying I beat Pete's meat. So this is optional, but this is out of Green Bay. It is a cherry wheat by Hinterland Brewing Company. So I'm gonna enjoy that. If I fail this thing, it's gonna be $40. But if I win, I will get my entire meal for free. I will get that sweet t-shirt I just showed you. They are going to throw in a hat because so many people here. And I will get my name and photo up on the wall of fame, which is right behind me, all of the infamous Peter Beaters. So let's get this challenge started. All right, I do not know from experience yet, but it's my understanding that Pete has the thickest, juiciest meat <laughs> in all of Oshkosh. Yeah. Hundreds of people have found out the hard way, but also 15 people have won. I know my friend Eager Ethan Teske has won. Derek or Heavy D Hendrickson from Colorado. I think he's got the number two time, which is like 1848. My friend Molly Schuyler, she's got the record for beating Pete's meat. Four minutes and 56 seconds. So we are not going to try to beat that. We've got an hour. Let's just dominate. And I do want to finish in under 15 minutes because if I don't, I said my penalty will be drinking a shot of Malort from Chicago, which is awful. Let's dominate, get win 1,065. One, two, three, boom. All right. This meat looks juicy and delicious. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, yeah. That is good. They call all the bartenders fluffers here. That first patty was delicious. That was legit. The meat comes from a butcher in Green Bay, I think. Let's do this big old slab of prime rib. Kachina's gonna wanna come beat Pete's meat after I tell her about this. <laughs> and she'll save me 40 bucks, so I'm okay with it. That is good. This is juicy. But Don't in addition worry. to the meat being juicy, I'm pretty sure his buns are yeah. at the bottom too. There's a lot of love from all this meat. I am not drinking that more.
I was making sure I don't choke on Pete's meat. <laughs> I meant to say this earlier, Molly's record passed a couple minutes ago already, so we're six minutes and 15 seconds in. These beef patties are incredible. That prime rib was too. No, this challenge does not need to get any saucier or sticky than it already is. All right, here is the other slab of prime rib. Yeah. This is delicious, so compliments to the uh, fluffer that cooked this thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's a 100% chance, but there's a 99% chance I'm gonna need that Malort. The uh, five foot cowboy is fighting back from last night. All right, we're getting our way through. These bottom buns are juicy, let's just say that. To help get it down, I'm gonna eat it as a bun. This cherry wheat beer is legit, it's very good. I will say we do have some Beard Meets Food fans in the crowd and Beard would struggle with this one because he hates mushrooms and there's a lot on this burger. Twelve minutes, fifty-three seconds. I've done like seven hundred burger challenges over the twelve-year career that I've had so far. I would definitely, I think, put this in my top five for sure. Very good. Love the prime rib on it. The only thing that would have made it better is if they had jalapenos. I am done with this. All right, now we're just on to this family basket of fries. We are at 1516, so I do have to do the shot of Malor, but that's okay because I still have like 44 and a half minutes to actually beat Pete's meat and get the win. Compliments to Hinterland uh, beer, delicious. Seventeen fifty five. What happens at 20 minutes? You got to take another shot. No, uh-uh, no way. No way, maybe 30 minutes. Hey, if it's over 20, you don't get the hat, remember? Oh, <laughs> All right, we're getting there. I'm done beating Pete's meat though in a bit. <laughs> so I'm about to finish Pete off. <laughs> uh, I'm about to officially be a Peter Beater.
Time for the happy ending. I need a minute for this. Oh, don't worry. No, no. If, if I do this right now, it's coming right back up. I am the 16th person to beat Pete's Meat and dominate the Peter Beater Challenge. My time, 23 minutes and 11 seconds. I'm not exactly sure what other foods they have on their menu, but get here, even if you don't want to try the challenge. Those burgers that I had, the prime rib, oh, lots of fries there, but everything that I had today was delicious. So, of course, Pete is the owner. He's not here today, but big thank you to his whole team, everybody here with Pete's Garage Bar in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. For me, it was overall victory number 1,065. For beating Pete's meat, I am going to save $40 and get the $40 burger meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt, which I have right here. It's got, I beat Pete's meat challenge. But yeah, I'm also going to get this sweet hat. They said they wanted me to finish in 20, but I'm taking it anyway. But I will have my name and photo up on the wall of fame right behind me. I will be a proud, infamous Peter Beater. But yeah, I did not finish in under 15 minutes like I hoped. So my penalty for that is that I do have to finish one shot of just delicious, nutritious Malort. Uh, thank you guys so much all for watching this video. I think the next three videos will take place in the great state of Iowa, but ooh, Nostradi. Ah. It's not as bad as everybody thinks, but it's it's definitely no rumble mints or uh, what's my favorite? It's no grasshopper. Thank you guys for watching.